I want to take this asset into render man. So what I've done here is to make um, this uh, ISO mask here that's going to be driving uh, some textures. So essentially it's going to be about uh, applying some of the masks and uh, this ISO to build a look that's similar to actually what we have here in Mori. So okay, so here in Maya now I have my uh, light set up and uh, it's rendering and I also applied a few shaders to this. So I have a shader for the body, it's gonna be the glass and uh, the different metals and stuff like that. So, and this is kind of what, what I'm uh, take a look at here. So I'm gonna apply my ISO maps to make the text here. And I'm planning to apply a, a noise where we can see it. Yeah, it's this kind of small scale uh, micro bumps, lens shader, and graphite. So, first off, we want to apply the base color. So, it's gonna be a, a dark one here. It's not gonna be, it's more like a V plastic. So, I just gonna zoom this out there. Let's hide the outliner there for a bit. I'm uh, planning to use a blend. So that's a new node here, Pixar blend. So this one you can, it's more like a layer. You can layer two shaders or two uh, values. So I'm gonna use this to hook it up to, um, see if I hit uh, three here and take, I wanna have the diffuse color. So I'm, I'm filtering here, diffuse color there, DI. And uh, this one, result RGB to diffuse color hook it up so now it's gonna go totally black there so the bottom color if I set this top alpha here to zero and start to mess with the, the bottom color you see here so this is gonna be the base color so I want something that's dark here but not completely black plastic so it's not gonna be metal so it's gonna have some values there you can have the text color it's gonna be this slider so I'm gonna drive this with a mask so let's say this one we need a texture to uh, so i already converted my textures so i did that by browsing to my export folder and using this tx and uh, i pick a directory where i have them just converting to tx so i'm gonna browse to that directory so we need this pixar texture node here yeah my text here that's what we need this one and let's take a look here. We need the Atlas style Mori. So this one is gonna be taking the numbering here. The 1001 is now converted to map ID there. And that's gonna read it. We need this, I hit three to expand this. So I want the result, can take this result R here. I could take this one as well. And we want this to the top alpha. So you see now we have uh, the text going there. So it's it's taking the color and applying the alpha. So we could now start to, do we want a red text or a green text or, or a blue or whatever, white. Um, so here's the first step. So now I want to make this into some kind of plastic. I'm gonna take this, the artistic and just up the, the Fresnel here for a bit, a bit there something like that and play with the roughness. Looking at this, let's take my uh, reference here. Kind of a, a broad uh, roughness there still. And I guess some of it is gonna be from the bump. And also we can solo this just to take a look at, that's the, uh, the ISO by its own. So we need another Pixar texture now, Pixar texture to read my, uh, my ISO map that I use before. ISO 1001. We wanna hook up a, um, a bump to this, but I'm gonna just bump, I'm not, I, I don't want to bump these guys here because these ones are supposed to be pristine and shiny. So I just want to bump the lens body. So I made an, an ISO with red, green and blue. So we can take a look at that. So we can uh, make a Pixar bump. So this one, I will, this material. So we want bump normal. So this, the bump normal is gonna bump all of the effects. So I want that. So result normal to bump normal. So there we have the first step of this then we want my Voronoi noise so that's a, a noise pattern so Pixar Voronoi 
There you go. Let's hook this up. So it's gonna be the result float into bump. There you go. So there we see that we have something. It's gonna look strange here, but uh, it's probably because the, the noise is very big. So if I hit soul on this guy, we can see here, if I start to rotate that, this is the, the result of the bump. So we have to start to tweak this, and this is kind of a, a little bit trial and error, I guess. Uh, let's see, frequency, we probably want a high one. Gonna zoom in here so we are fairly close, so we can see what's going on. Do we want something very fine? This guy here. It's a little, uh, let's try it, something like that. This node is, uh, yeah, it's like any other noise nodes. You just have to play around a bit here to, to see what happens until you find something that's interesting. So let's, let's say that this, let's see, frequency. That's the large scale octaves. We want a lot of gain. Now we can see this noise it's gonna be something like that so i want to use that into the bump so let's actually disable this now and see what happens so here we can see that's the bump Ooh, it's very super cranked here now because the the bump is set to uh to one here in my bump node so we can remedy that by setting the scale here lower the scale to zero first and just to see what happens Converge a bit there, so it's gonna be a very small bump here. So I guess zero one first, see what happens. Zero two, and zoom in here. Yeah, zero two. But now this is applied everywhere, so I don't want that. So I'm gonna take another blend node and actually make a slider out of this, or we can take a Pixar layer blend. Uh, gonna be seven blends in one so we can have a lot of inputs and stuff here so um, let's take this result RGB into the RGB 7 because the background I'm, I want to have like 0 0.5 like middle gray I want to result R into let's see where is it it's easy to actually do it like this band it result R into input there so it should be the same effect there now so let's take a look at this guy here see what happens actually it isn't that's because layer 7 here by default is not en enabled so it's gonna take the bottom so background color is zero is zero now so i want to set this to 5.5 here actually set it to display space 5 there you go let's take and enable this so now I have enabled uh, the layer 7. Let's uh, hook up an, uh, an ISO here. So we want this ISO. can actually take a, uh, what's it called? Pixar float something. This one of those notes, I always forget what it's called. So I have to hunt around here instead. So it's under uh, pattern. It's one of these Pixar to float 3. So I want this, the three so this is takes rgb and makes it into a float i'm gonna take this node and hook up to my result rgb so the input so now we can select what channel we want to fork out from this one so i'm gonna use just hook it up and see what we get result float into alpha 7 so that's gonna enable uh, this so here we can see off the bat here so I guess it's the correct one. So I want to take this solo button and see here. This guy is, let's see what colors we have here actually. So we have a blue, red and green. So red, green, blue. Channel one is zero. It's going to be red. If I look at this one instead. Channel one will be the green. Channel two, blue. So that's just the easy way to take an RGB and just fork out one of the channels. Okay, so um, let's disable this, take a look here. So now we should have some bump there on this one, but not there. Now we can uh, set the strength here to maybe 0.4, something. Just crank it, over crank it a bit, there you go. Now we can see the, the bump is starting to kick in there. And it's only gonna bump uh, on that surface, not there. That's cool. OK, 
Okay, so now I want to make some kind of glass. So let's take this guy and make a glass out of him very quickly. So we take away the color, make it black, and go to glass, just just enable this. One, two. There we go. Take down the roughness. Let's say it's a vintage glass, so we want to have some kind of iridescence. Let's take it. Uh, maybe <laughs> a bit too much. Let's let's try physical and see. Let's, I just want something very slight that gives a little of a of some kind of rainbow. Sometimes you can see it on on the lenses, more like a slight coating. Yeah, let's make a chrome out of this guy as well. Take away the diffuse. Pump up. The, this one and the roughness let's see and I want some um, actually some um, GGX on this guy and I also want actually I want GGX on all of them so let's do that take this guy advanced GGX might have to tweak the roughness a bit now because it's gonna have a nicer broader tail okay so this guy I want an isotropic it's gonna be smudge it this direction like it's brushed or something so where are we getting we are getting there let's see getting there this one to fix can make a metal out of that gjx take physical let's take the edge color set it to something and we want to do extinction coefficient to like let's see increase the roughness a bit let's take some more red into this yeah that's my very quick and dirty rundown here of using a few ISOs and uh, the bump node here and uh, the layer blend so the layer blend here you see we have seven uh, input so we can layer more of them you see you have blending mode so this is the same blender modes as in photoshop so you can use multiplies and everything so if you wanna for example if you um, if you look at this want to uh, start to tune this let's say that you want this to actually to uh, be um, you wanna knock this down so you can enable this six here set the same uh, value and we can take the alpha to knock it down now. If you want to have more or less of uh, the the bump onto that one, so this one now is going to become a multiplier or a, like an opacity slider for that mask. So that's another way you can use this as well. Okay, so let's disable this and uh, there you have it. No textures, just a few ISOs and uh, blend nodes and the, the noise pattern there. Let's take this up a bit here, actually. Yeah, so that's it for today's episode. And um, yeah, thanks you. And um, as usual, leave your comments below. And um, yeah, what do you think about this? Do you like working without textures? Leave your comments, share. And if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. It's gonna come more random man, VFX and uh, Mori related stuff your way pretty soon. See you on the channel. Bye bye.